The ancient Greeks looked at the unknown of the night sky and called it cosmos, or universal order. I call this cosmos as well. The universal order within, just waiting to reveal its secrets to us. I think Milton said it best. To see a world in a grain of sand, and a heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and eternity for an hour. Myron? Terry, what brings you here? I just dropped by to see how the presentation's going for tomorrow's board meeting. Oh, and I, I brought those vitamins I promised. I said they're the best you can get. Uh, you're the pharmacist. So how's the presentation going? I'm not sure. I thought I had it all figured out, but... What's there not to be sure about? You're succeeding where others, including huge pharmaceuticals, have failed. Goal Labs is the gold standard, and right now we're poised for dramatic growth. I'm, I'm giving you a speech. Um, maybe we're not ready. I'm just not that excited about the future. I know I should be. Myron, you've got to take better care of yourself. You're working all the time. F frankly, the, the board is concerned. We're afraid you're burning out. Little ounce of prevention. The first speech was better. Don't worry, I'll be fine. You always are. You know, sometimes something small can be the key to something big. I was hoping you would go down to the store with me. I could use some help. Out of New Fortune F this week. Dr. Nolan said your heart can't handle Bertha, any. I run three businesses and a farm. I think my heart can handle a little activity with my son. So how about it? Well, if you really need me, I will, but I've got a student government meeting, then track practice, and choir rehearsals, and then. Yes? <clears throat> a date. Can I borrow the car? I'll drive you and Mom home after we get some ice cream. Here, I'll pay for the ice cream. I'll consider it alone. So busy. Yes, he reminds me of someone, but I can't remember his name. Yeah, Adam. Mm -hmm. His name is Adam. Yeah, that's right. Thank <laughs> you. I'm going home now. Don't work too late. Hello to you too, son. Sorry. Mother. <coughs> Father. Bye. I swear if that son of yours were any less Oh, busy. that reminds me. I'll be down in a minute. Hello? Hey, Dad. You're still there? Yeah. Another late night. Uh, I'm preparing for the board meeting. Are we still going boating? I hope so. Dave, uh, you know, there's always a chance I might not make it. But I will try. Don't worry, Dad. I understand. Bye.
Mom? What's wrong? Adam Wentz was a good man. He left a legacy of generosity and kindness that will always be remembered by those of us who were lucky enough to have known him. The question for us now is this. What legacy will we leave our loved ones and future generations? None of us know when we will leave this life or how. We could be called home by a heart attack as Adam was. Only God knows why these things happen. Ours is but to accept his will and find comfort that one day we will again be reunited. That it may be so, I humbly and sincerely pray. Amen. Let me know what I can do to help. blessed with so many talents. Use them. Go on and make your father proud. I wish I could have done something. Yes, sir. Marvin, you are a brilliant young man. However, I fear if you continue to work on degrees in both music and biology, you're greatly limiting your potential to truly excel in either one of those fields. Marvin, you've got to make a decision. I know. I just don't know okay. how. Well, tell me, whom do you look up to most in the world? Well, you know that. I mean, with the exception of my parents, uh, Dr. Linus Pauling. And if you could accomplish just one great thing in your life, what would it be? Keep people from dying too soon. It looks like your decision has already been made. Skull Laboratories, as one of the leading labs in the world for viral diagnostics, was the test for the Epstein-Barr virus. We've used your test kits in our hospitals. They are very impressive. If I may be so bold, what was the breakthrough? What's the key to your success? It's simple, really. <laughs> simple for a scientist, maybe. I'm a businessman. This is our cell culture operation. We have developed a comprehensive knowledge of the nutritional requirements for the cells to maintain optimal health. With the right combination of all the nutrients essential for life, I can maintain cells in a healthy state almost indefinitely without any signs of degeneration. Basically, we have the healthiest viruses because we have the healthiest cells. The stronger the virus, the more accurate the test.
<coughs> Mother, you need to take these. Have you ever noticed how the sunset can be so magnificent and yet so cruel? It's the death of one day and it leads to the birth of another. That's why it's so beautiful. You're the one who's beautiful. <laughs> I'm quite the vision of loveliness. A wrinkled old woman dying of breast cancer. I always wanted you to be a minister. Do you know that? That's what you've become in a way. You've helped so many people. I only diagnose diseases. I do nothing to prevent them. I still do nothing to prevent them. Myron, stop. Don't punish yourself for something that was beyond your abilities. You were just a boy. I'm sure your father doesn't hold it against you. Why should you? Mother, well, it's time to take these pills. It's always time for something, isn't it? Myron. Myron. Always take the time to notice the beautiful things. Don't miss the beautiful things in life. It is beautiful, isn't it? the most beautiful thing in the world. The most beautiful thing in the world. You need to take better care of yourself. I wish I could have done something. I only diagnose diseases. I do nothing to prevent them. What legacy will we leave our loved ones and future generations? I'm just not that excited about the future. I still do nothing to prevent them. Calcium phosphate, cellulose, gelatin. This won't work. The right combination of all the nutrients, I can maintain cells in a healthy state almost indefinitely without any signs of degeneration. Kevin, look at this. Look what they're putting into bottles and selling us, calling them nutritional supplements to enhance our health. If we fed these ingredients to the cells in this lab, we'd be out of business in no time. They wouldn't survive. Looks like you're feeling better. Yes, I am. Those vitamins must be working. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to sell the company. That fateful day was a moment of truth, a crossroad, when the invisible was made visible in more ways than one. The cell is elegant, resourceful, and marvelously intricate. The fundamental unit of life, it is virtually unknown, invisible to most of us. Yet within that invisible miracle, 
lies the key to living life to its fullest, in happiness and in health.